King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop, King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on Team IKC? I told you guys you were going to get that work in video one of this web series. Now, NBA 2K15 Wishlist Episode 2 is right here right now. Today we're going to be talking about gameplay. Now, I have a lot to say. But I want to say it in a short time because I think in the first video, I kind of dragged you guys along for 15 minutes. So I'm going to try to keep it as short as I can. But we talking about gameplay. We talking about problems. So let's get into this video, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about gameplay. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is defensive settings and tactical menus. Now, if you guys don't understand what this means, because obviously you're new to 2K and you only played it on next gen, we're talking about being able to set double teams during like offensive timeouts, even before the game even starts. Try to dictate what type of defense you want to play and what you want to do against specific players in the NBA. Now, of course, in last gen, they had that, you know, it, it wasn't no problem. You know, you could set if you want to guard tight on a player, if you want to sag off, if you want to leave a moderate, if you want to, you know, uh, go around or under picks and stuff like that. It was so tactical savvy that anybody that knew how to play defense could. But this year, mm -mm, not on next gen. You all you can do is call man to man, two, three, three, two. 131 full court press half court press half, full court trap and that's about it yeah um point of emphasis is cool but how do you know that the point of emphasis is actually working for all five players if i say limit perimeter shots if somebody's guarding al horford or zach randolph they need to be stepping up on these guys, not standing in the paint while they're hitting mid-range jumpers inside the line or three-pointers for that matter. These things, these things shouldn't happen, man. You know, it, 2K, I'm, I'm trying not to go on a rant, so, you know, we're actually going to move on from that. But just please bring back the tactical menus. Uh, defensive players like myself, we love that. You know, we, we, we need it. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to talk about in gameplay, please improve teammate AI. Now, let's talk about offense here. If I pass it to a player and I'm not actually controlling the other four players on the court, if I have it on player lock, now I'm not talking about my career. I'm talking about the game in general. If anybody goes into a game and puts on player lock and goes into a quick match, you will be playing my career. That's basically it. Your teammates will do nothing for you offensively and defensively. They will be looking like bumps on a log. Now, what I can say that you guys could do to fix this offensively, if you pass it to a teammate, right, make a trigger or button that allows you to tell your teammate to shoot the ball or just like how you press X and the player gives you the ball back. Why can't you press square and tell that player to shoot? or go in for a layup when they have a clear lane. There's been pl plenty of times where I've ran the pick and roll, a guy will actually pop out, I'll pass him the ball, he's wide open and he doesn't take the shot. He waits for me to get open and passes it back to me with four seconds left on the clock. So please, offensively, we need that help with our team you know it's just us against five other guys that's how we that's how we really feel you know that's why guys put up 60 plus points 100 plus points 20 assists 30 rebounds 12 block come on 2k make it a little bit more realistic for us now defensively why are guys leaving everyone open for three-point shots it seems like the rotation defensively just does not work in 2k14 next gen if you pass it it, like say for instance you're you coming down you run man to man and guys are actually supposed to stick their guy because you have them playing physical and limited perimeter shots if they swing the ball more than two times somebody's going to be left open you want to know why because the defense is going to slide for a double team for no reason when the double team is not even needed they'll double team nate robinson at the three why there's no reason to no reason at all but those type of things happen in the game and i feel like you know now that we're getting into next gen and we've been playing this game for years and you guys kind of know what type of problems the game has you guys can fix that um now one um one quick thing 
automated drop down defense needs to be taken out of the game ASAP. It was taken out of NBA 2K13. Please take it out of NBA 2K15. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm tired of my guy dropping down on defense like he's actually guarding somebody, you know, head up and getting torched because everybody's running right by him. Yeah, that happened. Um, now, let's talk about directional passing for a second. When I pass it to somebody, say for instance, I'm, I'm using the analog and I try to hit the analog on a, on a diagonal uh, point to the rim, like say somebody's in the corner waiting for a three. If I drive the ball and I hit the diagonal uh, analog and press X, it should pass it to the guy at the three, not the guy in the paint. I just feel like directional passing needs to be improved because we've been playing this game for a lot of years now and it seems like you guys still haven't gotten a fix on directional passing and it feels like to me icon passing is also a problem because it's delayed you know if you're running the pick and roll with somebody and you gotta hit the bumper and then hit their icon by the time that happens the play is already over the ball is getting stolen because directional passing isn't great so I feel like with me I have to throw a flashy pass every single time I pass the ball in order to get it off and that's frustrating because I don't I shouldn't be able to just need to do that I want to throw bounce passes and stuff like that you know um I, I feel like guards should be able to run past big men with relative ease if we're running in a pick and roll situation and Noah steps up to me to the three-point line to guard me off a switch and they don't switch back I should be able to abuse him simple as that i should be able to abuse him now uh the next thing now this kind of goes into animations but when you're playing the game and you're going for a layup or a dunk or something like that there are a lot of annoying animations that happen even you know if you get bumped there's also animations in the game that destroy all feeling that you're playing real basketball but i'll dive deep into that in the animation video which is next um Please lower the amount of block shots. Now, I know you guys are probably going to say, well, I don't see that many block shots. Well, some of the block shots that do happen are block shots that really wouldn't happen in the NBA. Like, you wouldn't see Aaron Brooks dunk, uh, I mean, not dunk, but block a dunk from somebody like uh, Baysmore or or Harris Barnes, of course, Harris Barnes did just dunk on my man, though. But, but what I'm saying to you guys is, you know, six-foot guys going up against a six-foot-six-plus guy really shouldn't have a chance, and especially blocking them from the back, uh, you know. Um, let's take let's take this for instance uh, with the block shots. Gerald Green, light skin LeBron. In real life, on the Suns, do you guys see his double clutch dunk that he does all the time? Like he kind of brings the ball down away from the block and still gets the dunk off because of his crazy hang time. That's what I'm talking about. Now uh, let's talk about um, teammates a little bit more. You know, they're nitty gritty. Uh, I feel like some teammates that are just AI seem like they all play drop down defense and don't stand straight up and if they do stand straight up they're kind of out of the play like they're not aware of what's going on so you know i just feel like you know if if you're you know defending somebody and you call for a double team the double team should come immediately and the person that's watching that zone say somebody out at the three should be able to watch both players and that player run up immediately for the double team because i feel like there's a big delay when you call for a double team and by the time you call for a double team you either got scored on got shot you know over top of or you know the guy just ran right past you you know i i just feel like that should that should be something that should be added uh Players with high layup and offensive awareness ratings should be able to do like an automatic protect from like from a defense like just how I, I address the Gerald Green thing like people who have those high layup and offensive awareness should be able to use an acrobatic move to actually get away from the defender before the block even comes because there's a lot of canned animations when you're going for a layup you're going in for the layup and that's it you 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 can hit the trigger yeah but I feel like some players should just have not a package, but actual awareness to get away from the block. You know, if a guy is going in for a, a, a finger roll, he should be able to go in for a finger roll and see that defender and switch it up to like a, a, a floater in midair. Like, you feel, you feel what I mean? Some, something like that. Because it seems like, you know, a lot of guys get blocked with layups, like a lot. Like, your layup gets literally rejected. I've seen a layup get blocked, and it went down to the other end of the court, hit the backboard. I thought it was going to score, but it didn't score. It would have been a great video. 
But we're talking about a 2K15 wish list right here. Uh, now, uh, a little something um, off of gameplay. This is more like presentation. Um, I would say on-court audio samples. Now, if you guys ever play with the commentary off, the crowd off, the arena sounds, and just play with the core player sounds, you would hear stuff that goes on on the court that's not even going on. Sometimes you don't hear the ball being dribbled. Like, when somebody gets a slam dunk, you might hear the court, you know, make the uh, original sound of, like, somebody going in for a rim greaser. But if somebody going in for a windmill tomahawk like LeBron, you you hear the same exact sound every single time. When somebody misses a shot, you might hear a ding, but you won't hear, like, a dong. Like, you won't, you won't never hear stuff like that. Like, when people make jump shots, like, when it swishes, you don't really hear the swish. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, the almost swish. Like, you... I'm, I'm just... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm diving a little bit too deep in it. It's just, you know, real basketball should be, you know, dope. You know, this this game is, like, realistic. Help me out here. Um, Crowd responses. I believe that crowd responses should be immediate. If a player falls, it should not be a two to three second delay like, oh, when that guy, t as soon as he touches the ground, everybody should be like, ooh, like that's that's how I feel with that. Um, also, just, you know, improve the audio and the atmosphere. You guys did a great job on, you know, the visuals, the audio visuals, like with, you know, the lights and all of that and the, and the shot clock. That's cool. But I want to, you know, feel like I'm actually watching basketball. I want to get that feel like I'm, you know, on the, on, like, I guess you could say in the front row seat. You know, I want to hear players yell at each other. I want to hear somebody mic'd up. A mic'd up would be a great addition to NBA 2K15. I just want to throw that in there. Get these guys mic'd up out there on the court. Um, also, anybody know about the new rims that flex and break away slightly? You know, like, like, has anybody ever seen a Nate Robinson dunk clip? I kind of want those kind of breakaway rims. Like, it's cool, but I want to see, like, a real breakaway rim. Like, the, the actual graphics look so great in this game that, you know, they should be able to have that. Now, uh, I know that I'm running, you know, over the time that I, ac I t actually told you guys I was going to run over. But um, another thing I wanted to address before I get up out of here, the player sliding. Um, for instance, if you're playing offense, right, and you're actually inside the three-point line, you just want to take a two-point shot. If you catch the ball, which is catch and shoot, and you go to pull up, your guy will actually slide behind a three-point line. And when you take that shot, it's a three-pointer automatic no ands ifs or buts about it these players do slide if you're playing on defense and you and you're in your automatic drop down defense and a guy hits you with a move and then bumps you as he's running past you you get stuck and you can't move you can't react you can't do anything the reaction time is so delayed in nba 2k 14 next gen that is preposterous you know we we should be able to to read and react to what people do if somebody crosses over we should be able to have the, the like, the way to be able to, like, I guess you could say, not cut them off because, you know, sometimes when you cut off a player, it's really considered a foul. But, like, to actually move your feet real fast. Because if you press R2 and you're in that automated drop-down defense, you actually just move lateral. Like, you don't you don't actually turn your hips. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You, feel not, you guys feel what I mean, right? If a player has the ball in his left hand, he's driving left, and he cuts back right, we should be able to turn our hips and our body and our arms should be able to like kind of crowd them and you know you know kind of crowd the, the the offensive player. That's that's just the way I'm looking at it, man. I'm just looking at real basketball terminology here as I look at this game because the visuals are great. Don't get me wrong, but we just need a little bit more from the gameplay standpoint to make it more realistic. Um, all I could just say is, man, the animations video will be out. I'll probably try to put that joint out tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys like this video in itself. Gameplay-wise, if anybody has any ideas, go ahead, drop them in the comment section. Because I will say, Ronnie2K and LD2K are watching. The devs, they will definitely forward this video to them, which are the people that matter the most because they are the ones that's making this game. But <laughs> this is IKC signing out. I hope you guys like the video. Like, literally, like the video. <laughs> and I'm going to holler at you guys in the next episode of my NBA 2K15 wish list. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe.
Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.